hate the Democrats, I hate the Republicans. Hey everyone, Matthew Robinson back again, trying my monologue thing out for the second week in a row, tell me what you think. Uh, let's get started first of all with a little news. Uh, Monsters vs. Aliens was the number one movie in America, uh, making about $58 million, so congratulations to everyone involved in that film, that's a great job. Uh, another movie that didn't do that well, or person didn't do well, John Cena, his movie at 12 rounds opened up uh, in seventh place with $5 million. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean... John Cena, I mean, he got knocked out in the first round, looks like. <laughs> still, 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 John Cena is having a much better uh, day, or week, rather, than the CEO, former CEO, I should say, of General Motors. He was ousted by the Obama administration. But, you know, he, he's still going away at $20 million. He's going to be fine. He walked out with all his office equipment, you know, waved goodbye to everybody, you know, and then drove off in his Acura, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonder why they're failing. Okay, anyway, in France, Caterpillar workers, like Caterpillar is, Caterpillar is the uh, construction company, Caterpillar wor workers held their executives and bosses, executives and bosses hostage because they found out that they were about to be laid off. Now, how come we can't do that here with AIG? Come on, who's with me? Come on, we should be able to do that, right? I, I think it would be a great idea. I think if we took everyone hostage that we were, you know, angry at, you know, we would... So many problems would be solved in this country. We could take the we could take the writers of Heroes hostage and force them to finally write a good show. <laughs> Just a sign of the times. Sam San Quentin San Quentin. I'm, I think I'm saying that. I haven't been down because I'm afraid I'm gonna forget it. But it's San Quentin <laughs> um, prison and Hancock Tower in Chicago uh, are about to be sold off. Well, Hancock Tower is actually already sold off. Quint San Quentin prison might be sold off for development. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, everything is just its so cheap by now, and everyone's just trying to, you know, make money. Hancock Tower was sold for half off of what it was worth just a few years ago. Still, despite the economic downturn, I still can't buy a PS3. <laughs> you know, it's too expensive. It's too expensive. Games aren't worth it. Okay, and the final four will be held in Detroit. Um, you know, Michigan State, who upset Louisville, is going to be there. Got UNC is going to be, I mean, it's, it's going to be amazing. I have UNC winning all my bracket. Um, you know, and the city of Detroit is just, they're excited beyond belief to have the Final Four in Detroit. Because finally, they're going to have a champion in Detroit, you know? <laughs> 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 okay. The Sham Wow guy, you know, Vince, the Sham Wow guy in those commercials, those cheesy Sham, Sham Wow commercials, was arrested the other day for hitting a hooker. This is a true story. This is a very true story. Apparently he was making out with this hooker and she bit on his tongue, ca causing him to draw blood. So to get her, get him off her, or get her off him, he hit her. I, it, I, I know, he hit her, he, the, the hooker was coming after him, you know, but it was, everything was cool. Everything was cool. He was able to clean off the blood on his tongue with the sham wow, you know, the police didn't charge him with anything. He took him back to the hotel, showed him where he had sex, and then sh gave him a little sham wow demonstration. See this bed? Oh, you, got, you know, you can spend $20 to pay for towels to clean up this bed. Why don't you just use the sham wow? It would be amazing. And finally, finally, I am no longer single. I have got myself a fine girlfriend. You know, we're going to go to the movies this weekend. Maybe hold hands while we walk to the park. April Fools! <laughs> I got you! <laughs> I'm so bored. God! Mm. Mm. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> anyway, guys, I've done this monologue thing for two weeks now, and now it's time for you guys to decide! What? Should I keep doing the monologue or should I just go back to my original style of the Dreadhead Report? Tell me now. 
it's your chance to tell me. Leave comments. Or, you know, you know, you can just say, like, hey, maybe you should mix and match. Sometimes you do dreaded report. Sometimes you should monologue. You know, you should do it. You can do both things. You know, in America, we can do both things. You can be Democrat and Republican one year. You know, I voted for George W. Bush, then I voted for Obama. Or I voted for that guy, but then I voted for this guy. And we can just combine. So, you know, just leave some comments. I'm going to listen to all of them or read them all can't listen on the internet. Well, I actually came with that audio preview, or no, it's just before you post, whatever. The point is, I'll read your comments, and uh, I'll then I'll make a decision. So please leave comments, uh, have a to rate, and subscribe as well. And until next time, remember,